652 Expedition Africa continues, and we're joined live this morning by Ben Webster on Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Good morning, Ben. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How's the expedition going? I understand you're about a third away up uh, Mount Kilimanjaro right now. Yeah, things are moving very smoothly, but uh, I want to uh, make sure that the viewing audience, uh, if they're seeing any of the images from Kilimanjaro, that they are indeed Kilimanjaro and not the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> you do know the difference between your mountains, I would guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, once you walk on them, you get to know them intimately. Yep. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, uh, who's with you on this trip? I, I, I understand you have a, a, a crew of people with you. Who's, uh, who's taking part in this expedition with you? Uh, well, we got a, a large number of uh, folks from the Ottawa area, and they're here to support uh, one of the really big causes around the project, which is building a woman's dormitory, um, as well as um, Algonquin College is participating in a big way on this particular climb. But standing beside me, I got Dr. Shauna Burke, who was, um, and you guys, some of your audience might know from years past on climbing on Everest. She's here doing some research um, on the group as they as they climb Kilimanjaro. Right. And we're going to talk to uh, Dr. Shauna Burke right now about that. So we'll get her on the phone. Uh, and uh, again, uh, she's right there uh, with uh, them this morning. Hey, Shauna, how are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. It's nice to talk to you. Now uh, we want to we want to find out what this is all about when it comes to um, breast cancer and breast cancer research. What is it exactly you're uh, you're doing with your research on this trip? Well, um, to be honest, uh, the research that I'm doing is actually twofold. Um, the first study that I'm doing is a follow-up study from the research that I did last year with breast cancer survivors. And uh, the second part to my study is I'm actually doing um, some research on social support. Uh, specifically, what happens in the mountains with many climbers is they're faced with lots of obstacles, um, and especially for climbers when it's their first time. So with us here uh, is a group of about 20 individuals, and for the most part, they're climbing the mountain for the first time, and mm -hmm. so they're being exposed to different types of obstacles that they've never had to face before, such as high altitude. Right. And so what I'm doing is I'm looking at their experiences of social support and how individuals are helping one another as they make their way up the mountain. So that's kind of a, a, a human interest uh, kind of research when it comes to uh, how people uh, get along and how uh, the trip progresses, especially, as you mentioned, with people who've never done this sort of thing before. And there is also a connection to uh, a breast cancer, right? That's correct, yes, absolutely. The research that I did last year was looking at um, their experiences of well-being and what does climbing Mount Kilimanjaro mean to breast cancer survivors um, in terms of their health and well-being. There hasn't been any studies that have been conducted around um, this type of research, and what we're finding is more and more breast cancer survivors seem to be taking on this type of a challenge. Right. And so the idea behind my study is to find out what does it mean to these women and how is it helping them during their uh, recovery from cancer. Now, are you looking at both the, uh, the, the, uh, the physical aspect and the mental aspect of, of uh, what an expedition like this can uh, do and what effects it can have on people? Yes, specifically I'm looking at the psychological um, side of the experience. Um, so within our group we have, um, we have a few breast cancer survivors uh, but others uh, don't have breast cancer. So with those individuals uh, I'm looking at the social support. So among the greater group we actually have subgroupings of individuals. We've got um, two different dynamics that are taking place which is quite fascinating. We've got uh, a mother, daughter and father grouping. Right. We've got uh, three friends who have come together uh, to take on this challenge. And we have another father-daughter uh, grouping. So it's, it's been very interesting to look at how they interact and how they help one another as they're making the way up the mountain. Very interesting stuff. I know uh, it must be uh, interesting for you as a person who's, who's uh, done this sort of thing. You and Ben both have done this uh, sort of thing uh, on many occasions. It must be interesting, first of all, to see their reaction uh, for the first-timers, uh, immediate reaction as they get ready to do this. 
absolutely, you know, there's a lot of anxiety involved. Uh, for the most part, it stems from the fact that for most of these individuals, it's the first time that they're ever um, entering into an environment where there's a lack of oxygen in the air. Mm -hmm. And so they're, they're facing the unknown. You know, they're not sure what to expect. Uh, they're not sure how their bodies are going to react. And so for us, it's really about educating, uh, letting the folks know, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to take place. And we're finding that that's really helping for them lower their anxiety. So I think uh, for, for the most part, we're going to see the anxiety increase over the course of the expedition as the folks get closer to the summit. Um, you know, from where we're standing now, we can see the summit, but we're still a ways away. But once they get uh, that much closer, we're going to we're mm -hmm. going to see the anxiety levels uh, increase a little bit. No doubt. And if any one of you, uh, any of you are interested in following the group or following the subgroupings uh, of individuals within the larger group, you can do that at uh, www.algonquincollege.com slash ask. 2009. Yes, very interesting. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that, uh, Dr. Burke, and we'll be uh, in touch with you guys in the very near future. Thanks for joining us, and our best to you, uh, Ben, and uh, the rest of the group. Thank you very much. It's great talking to you. Okay, Shauna, thank you. That's Dr. Shauna Burke along with Ben Webster. Uh, they are the leads of Expedition Africa. Now, uh, Dr. Burke did mention uh, www.algonquincollege.com slash Africa 2009. You might want to go visit uh, that uh, website and enter uh, a contest. It's Algonquin College's Small World Big Question Contest. You can find all the information, all the answers to the questions, uh, and you can win some great prizes from Algonquin College. So here's today's question. What is the Algonquin College theme as the group travels through the Serengeti? What is the Algonquin College theme as the group travels through the Serengeti? Go to that website you see in your screen. You'll find the answer to that question. Enter the contest, and who knows? You come, could come up a big winner with Algonquin College and Expedition Africa. Uh, 659.